Replacing the sprinkler head is fairly simple. All you have to do is unscrew the old one out and take it out and put in the new one. In order for you to find the correct size to replace is to look for the, uh, the inlet or uh, this one for example it has 4 inch gear driven sprinkler and the radius it's from 22 feet to 39 feet and the adjustment um, on this for the radius is from 40 degrees to 360 degrees maximum the easiest to find the right size is to take the old one that you took it out and then take to the um, home improvement store such as uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and find the right size and and put it in so this one I got it's from uh, I think it's made by a hunter and uh, this one came it comes with the uh, adjustment wrench to make the adjustment um, the easiest way it's um, it, this one has the uh, the key the wrench that came with it and uh, I put it in here and I turn so it has the positive and negative if I turn to the right then the radius will be more and then I turn to the left and the radius will be uh, less and this one right here it has like an, uh, an allen wrench and I put in here and then and I turn it if I screw it down to the I turn it to the right like that then um, it will uh, slow down the uh, water pressure and as I, lo and, and I loosen the screw uh, the allen wrench it will um, shoot it the water will shoot uh, further so thank you for watching guys have a good day And I am replacing the second head, the different head. Um, you can dig it up if you want to. It's about uh, 6 inch to about a foot, uh, 12 inches deep. It's not that hard to um, pull it up. And if you want, you can put the, um, um, you can put the thread, uh, pipe thread, or thread seal of tape around the thread right here if you want. It's not necessary, but I like to put it around it. Yeah, I did put uh, I wrapped a thread tape around it.